guys welcome back to my channel so today's gonna be a little bit differently I know I normally do a how to style a certain piece or how to style a certain theme like date night um, or, or brunch or something like that I don't know why I said brunch like I've literally never done that <laughs> this week I just decided to take you guys along with me through the week and just show you the outfits that I put together that I personally wear throughout the day while I'm working here at home I try to keep my style when I'm working from home comfortable but still stylish at the same time you know i do believe that when you work from home getting ready every day it really helps you be more productive at least that's the case for myself so these are some things that i like to wear here at home while i'm working and of course i like to hop down and you know shoot an instagram photo and kind of show you guys what i'm wearing that way as well so if i'm wearing sweatpants it doesn't quite work out you know there are some days that i do want to wear my sweatpants all day but it just comes down to self-discipline and keeping in your routine all week at the end of the video stay tuned if you would like i'm going to kind of show you guys what I chose, where it's from, what size I got, kind of the nitty gritty, or if you're just here for the inspo, then the lookbook will probably do it for you. Um, but if not, stay tuned. For this color, it's like the worst color to wear on camera. It's like the same color as my skin. Um, anyways, blah, blah, blah. so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into the lookbook now. Broken along, I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare You liked it um, those are just kind of the four outfits that I wore this week the fifth one I don't know we just didn't film I think it was raining that day go ahead and walk you through what I chose and why first I grabbed this leopard dress this is from Topshop and I've been wanting to wear this I got this a while ago I know some of you guys called it out on Instagram I showed it in a haul a while ago um, I got a size US 4. I really love this. I just love leopard any time of year, and I think this satiny material is great for spring and summer because leopard can be a little geared towards fall, um, but I'm bringing it out this spring and probably in the summer, so stay tuned. It was pretty cold that day, so I did layer this 
shirt from Zara underneath it. It's just kind of a billowy sleeve, just cream top. I mean, you could do black, although black is definitely geared towards fall. I would stick with more of a white or a cream. In this top, I got a size small. And this one is fairly old. I think they might have it online still, so I'll do my best to find it. Um, I know I've showed it in tons of other videos and linked it, so maybe I can retrace my steps and try to find it. Again, it was chilly, so I just did a basic black booty. This outfit doesn't need a whole lot of shoe going on, so just something basic will do. I did some light wash denim and then this billowy sleeve top from Zara. This is old and the denim is old too, although you might be able to find it on Nordstrom. I know it was like heavily marked down last time I checked, but this is a small. And I don't know, I just wanted something really light and simple because I did have a shoe, this one right here, that I really wanted to be the focal point of the outfit. It is a snake print pointy-toed mule. So I thought this was nice, and I really like to have at least one item standing out. I do like an all basics outfit every now and then, but for this case, I wanted my shoe to be my standout piece. So I tried to tone everything else down. This is a basic white top, but it has cool elements to it. Like the sleeve is very different. It's not just your plain, you know, white long sleeve shirt. So I do try to mix it up in that way as well. This outfit is pretty casual. It's kind of boho. It was very hot um, this day. So I knew for sure that I wanted to wear this top and I bought this top at Zara and it's been really difficult to style because it is so billowy. So I can't fully tuck it in because there's just too much material and I can't front tuck it because the back is too short. So I'm like, um, okay. Skirt is my only option with something layered over it so you can't see how funny looking it is in the back. So I decided to go with this floral skirt from H&M and in this skirt, I got a two, and this top, I got a small. And this two, I mean, I could have definitely gone with the four, so just keep that in mind if you decide to go for this. I just thought that the textures, the different texture with the print was really interesting and fun, um, kind of a fun little outfit. And then I layered my go-to vest over it. I remember when I bought this vest, I was like, I'm never, Excuse you, Stella. Never ever going to wear this, and I've literally I wear it like twice a week. Thought this was a nice color combo with like a hint of denim to it, and the denim covered up, like I said, the weird short part in the back of my top. Next outfit, I wanted to do something kind of girly, um, but still kind of darker colors, so I went with this top from Zara, and I just love the colors in it. It's got blue and burgundy, and I actually think. Oh no, no yellow, I made that up. I was gonna say yellow, but mm -mm. I just love the sleeves. The sleeves are such a statement on this top. And it's one of those strapless tops that don't slide down as you wear it, which is nice. So you're not like exposed to everyone. Up really nicely, it's not too tight. Did I already tell you what size I got in this? Hmm. I got an extra small in this top. I just wore this with my high-waisted, uh, who makes those jeans? I believe they're girlfriend, denim from Revolve, and I did have on a pair of light wash, but it just didn't look right. I wanted to go for more of a darker look, but still keep that spring element with this top, so I did do more of a muted black. It's almost like a matte black, a dark charcoal, keep things light. I did these shoes by uh, Steven by Steve Madden. This is one of my newest pair, um, and I love them. They're so comfortable, and the color is perfect. They're this like true beige, ivory colors and I know what my sisters are gonna say they're gonna be text me as soon as they watch this video and be like those are old lady shoes but you know what I love my old lady shoes shoes are actually great for outfits that you don't really know what shoes to wear I could have done a pair of black shoes with this but then I just kind of feel like my outfit would have been too dark and a little too heavy for spring so these are great during those times that you're just like I need a light color shoe but I don't want white these are awesome. So I'm going to wrap this video up. And again, let me know if you guys like this style of video, if you wanna see kind of what I'm wearing throughout the week. I know we tried this series a while ago and it just didn't take off. Like you guys weren't loving it. Um, so we went back to the how to style series. But if you want, I can definitely mix these in. Sometimes it's like, you know, my style is so different every day that I feel like everyone gets a little piece. Like my edgy girls get a little piece or girly or kind of more of a classic look. 
Um, so I kind of feel like everyone wins with this series. Um, I'm not like fully bringing this back. I'm just kind of leaving it up to you guys. If this is something you'd want to see like once a month on a Sunday to kind of follow my outfits around during the week. Um, or if you would like to see this exact style of video, but like also I can film when I'm picking this out. So you kind of get an idea of like getting ready with me every day and then going out wearing the outfit. So you guys let me know what you want to see. I'm always down for new ideas. Don't forget the Carmine sunglasses are now available um, and we are almost completely sold through. I know some of the colors are like down to the last few. So I will put the link in the description box. You can get them now. I don't know if we're going to be restocking. So if you're thinking about it, definitely take the plunge because I don't know if there will be a restock of this size. I do think we're going to come out with more because everyone's loving the Carmines. So yeah, I'll keep you updated with that. So stay tuned. Probably um, in the vlogs, I'll keep you more updated with that. But I will see you guys next week.